Hey guys, it says solve for X, Andy. We have two equations of two variables, so we can definitely solve for this. Let's copy down the first equation and let's get one of the variables alone. So I'm gonna subtract X from both sides and get Y equals 20 minus X. This is gonna be important, so let's put a box around it, get rid of this stuff and bring it up. Next, let's bring down the other equation. I don't like dealing with fractions, so I'm gonna multiply both sides of the equation by the least common denominator of X, Y. On the right-hand side, this just becomes 4X, Y. On the left-hand side, the X, Y is gonna to distribute to both of these. So both of these ones are gonna change into X, Y. X over X are gonna cancel each other out to give us y, y over y will cancel each other out to give us x. And now we can use the equation in the red box. y is equal to 20 minus x, so I'm going to change this y here into a 20 minus x. I'm also going to change this y into a 20 minus x. Let's get rid of the parentheses, and negative x and positive x are just going to go away, so I'll have 20 on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, this 4x is going to distribute to both of those. 4x times 20 is 80x, and x times 4x is 4x squared. Let's set all this equal to 0, so I'm going to subtract the 80x and add 4x squared to both sides. So on the left-hand side, we have 4x squared minus 80x plus 20. And on the right-hand side, we have zero. All these are divisible by four, so let's do that. So that gives us x squared minus 20x plus five equals zero. I don't know how to factor this, so let's do the quadratic formula. A is the coefficient for x squared, which is just one. So this A is a one, and this A is a one. B is the coefficient of the x term. So this B changes into negative 20, and this B changes into negative 20. And C is our constant term, which is five. Negative negative 20 becomes positive 20. Negative 20 squared is 400. And four times one times five is 20, and this is two. 400 minus 20 is three. 380. 380 can be broken down into 4 times 95, and this can be broken down to two separate square roots where the square root of 4 is equal to 2. We can split this into two separate fractions with the denominator of 2. 20 over 2 is 10, and 2 root 95 over 2 is root 95. So because of this plus or minus, we have two possible values of x, one with the plus and one with the minus. 10 plus square root of 95 is approximately equal to 19.747, and 10 minus square root of 95 is approximately 0 0.253. And now let's find the corresponding y values. We can use this red box equation again to 20 minus the corresponding x values and that gives us y equals 0 0.253 or y equals 19.747. And these are the two possible values for x and their corresponding values of y. How exciting.